In First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 20, we read, And David said to all the congregation, Now bless Yehovah your God. And all the congregation blessed Yehovah God of their fathers, and bowed down their heads, and worshipped Yehovah and the king. Notice, they worshipped both Yehovah and the king. The Hebrew word there is Shachach, which is equal, which is equivalent to the Greek word proskuneo. We read in Revelation chapter 5, verse 13 and 14, Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them singing to the one seated on the throne, and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might for ever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. Proskuneo. Proskuneo. Which is equivalent to the Hebrew word Shachach. Now notice. They fell down and worshipped. And we'll assume they when it says they fell down and worshipped, that they worshipped both the ones uh, seated on the throne and the Lamb. We'll just assume this. Does this prove that the Lamb, that is Jesus Christ, is worshipped as God? No, it, is the, it does not. Nor does it prove that the King, in First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 20, is worshipped as Yehoveh, even though they bow down their heads and worshipped Yehoveh and the king. You see, we can use this text to explain John, uh, Revelation chapter 5, verse 13 and 14. Obviously, they didn't worship Yehoveh as the king or the king as Yehoveh. Likewise, they didn't worship the one seated on the throne as the lamb or worship the lamb as the one seated on the throne. You see how this works? In Genesis chapter 43, verse 28, they said to Joseph, Your servant, our father, is well, and he is alive. And they bowed down their heads and made obeisance. Notice, they not only bowed down their heads, they also made obeisance. Likewise, in 1 Kings chapter 1, verse 16, Bathsheba bowed and paid homage to David, the king. And the king said, what do you desire? So not only did she bow, she also paid homage to King David. And... The Hebrew word shachach, which is equivalent to the Greek word proskeneo, is used. In Matthew chapter 14, verse 33, we read, And those in the boat worshipped, proskeneo, him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. How did they worship him? Truly you are God Almighty? Truly you are the Creator God? No. Rather they worshipped Him as the Son of God. The Holy One of God. The One sent into the world. The Son of the Most High. That's how they worshipped Him. They didn't worship Him as God. Likewise, Bathsheba did not worship King David as, as if King David was Almighty God, nor did the brothers of Joseph worship him as if he is Almighty God. In Hebrews chapter 1 verse 6 we read, And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all God's angels worship proskuneo, him. We must ask if the angels got Alzheimer's, that they forgot who God was and stopped worshiping God, that God tells them to worship Him again. Does this make sense to you? 
Rather, the angels didn't worship him before. Furthermore, they worship him as the firstborn, not as Almighty God. So how do the angels worship him? As the firstborn, not as the Almighty God. In fact, he isn't once worshipped in the entire New Testament as the Almighty God. Not once. He's either worshipped as a teacher, as, as a healer, as the Messiah, as the Son of God, as the firstborn, but never as the Almighty God. And to finish this off, compare Revelation chapter 3 verse 9 to Revelation chapter 22 verse 89. Notice the similar language. Worship before your feet. Worship before the feet of the angel. What is he doing here? Is he setting up idolatry? I will make them come and worship before your feet. And yet when John tries to worship before the feet of an angel, what does the angel do? Don't do that. You must not do that. Worship God. You see, it's the same Greek word, proskineo. It's the same Greek word that is used for Jesus. It's the same Greek word that is equivalent to to the Hebrew word shahach that is used throughout the Old Testament for humans worshiping humans yet not in idolatry because they did not worship them as if they were the Almighty God likewise Jesus is not worshiped as the Almighty God he is worshiped as the Son of God he is worshiped as a healer he is worshipped as the Messiah, as the firstborn, but never as the Almighty God.